One of the most important things that sport offers is the opportunity for us to teach life skills through sport. Let's take a look at a couple situations here. Um, you've committed to a team and your son uh, has been um, told that he's going to play a certain amount and maybe his performance is such that um, uh, his playing time goes down a little bit, which is perfectly fine. Okay, how do we handle that? Okay. We all have situations in life when we're not performing, uh, and there's a, a ramification or a result of that. Now, we can find fault with the person making the choice, or we can learn the most difficult skill of all, which is to look in here first and see if I've done anything for that, if I can do anything to, uh, to make sure that I can overcome the situation I'm in. Uh, what about um, when your team's winning a game? Maybe you're up by 10 or 12 in the last few innings. Uh, your kids are all having fun, they all want to steal bases, they all want to bunt, they all want to steal home. Ah, but you're not going to let them. Why not? Because you want the other team to lose with some dignity. So maybe it's 10 to 1 and you stop running, you stop bunting. Um, you have to make sure that you teach your kids how to win with some grace. And when you do that, you're showing a little bit of compassion for the other team. Why would you do that? Because it's a lot easier for the other coach to practice tomorrow night after a 10 to 1 loss than it is after a 21 to 1 loss. So you have to respect the other team and you have to teach your kids um, why you're not going to let them do some of the things that they want to do. The other thing that needs to happen is that I've just lost complete focus on it. <laughs>